Start again with Jamon. Remember the mic holders on either side. Whoever has a question, please raise your hand. Jamon, when we talked to uh, Coach Smart yesterday, he talked about Savion and how far he feels like he's come the last five or six months. What have you seen from him the way he's developed getting ready for Paul King? Um, just the, just the being, um, just being him consistent, um, being who we are. Um, not nothing changed since I've been a freshman here. Uh, just being who we are, energetic, um, hard on you. Um, just being, really just being him at the end of the day, being consistent. consistent. Coach Schumann posted a lot on social media for the linebacker Olympics. I'm curious to know just what, uh, what you experienced from, from that and what you get out of that event. Um, you learn um, a lot, a lot about the, uh, people in your room, um, what they're good at and what they're not good at. Um, just an overall time to uh, have fun and um, be connected before going into a uh, grind mode. Um, that's really much it about the linebackers Olympics. A uh, little bit of fun time before getting to work. Uh, Jamon, yeah, Kirby talked, uh, he, he's told the story a couple times, and you probably saw it about spring drills and, and calling and even smile about turning up the tempo and asking you if you were given the same 110 as the year before. How difficult is that when you're as accomplished as you are to, to, to keep that motor running as high as it was when you were that hungry guy just trying to get snaps? Um, really just take it in yourself. Uh, um, coach don't praise you or uh, you know, check you unless you, you, you're really doing that bad or doing that good. So uh, when he told us that, and you had to really look at, look ourselves in the mirror, and actually, you know, be truthful with ourselves about what Coach was saying. And he actually showed us some films and some clips of us uh, that sophomore uh, fall camp going into our going into our sophomore year. And um, he was right, as if we looked at it, and we was hungry. And um, so fast forward now, you know, you got to keep the same energy. Um, we're really trying to do the same thing as we did last year. Um, you know, people still, you know. We like to say doubting us. Uh, um, just keeping that chip on our shoulder um, and growing it. Yeah, Jamon, second year starting, third year in the system. Coach talked yesterday about the volume of the defense. I'm curious how long it took you before you had full retention of what you were doing and confident enough to correct others. Um, I said, like I said, uh, my my uh, my second year. Um, actually, my first interview. Um, they said they asked me, um, how would you know you'll be okay? And I said, and I really told them just. As long as you lock in your first year, learn behind the guys that's ahead of you, and um, when your time comes, it comes because at the inside linebacker here at University of Georgia, they respect you by just the position you play, not by who you are, just the position you play. So they they gonna learn, they gonna listen to you, no matter if they know you or not, because the mic position is the the heartbeat of the defense, and we move as he move or that group as the inside linebacker move. So it's not really. The, the, the time frame is that position. And um, like I said, as long as you learn and lock in that first year and that, that following year you ready, they're going to move as you move. Jamon, I don't know if we've had a chance to talk to you since the, the reckless driving incident. I want to ask you, you know, how you dealt with that with your teammates, your coaches, your family, just you know, uh, how, how you addressed it? Um, just take it day by day. Um, for me, uh, I'm definitely disappointed in myself uh, the decision I made. Um, you know, I've been disciplined for that. And um, just really looking forward to move on from that. Um, I made a bad decision, but, you know, I take full responsibility for what I did. And, um, you know, me and the team, just take it day by day, um, just to work to uh, move forward. Hey, Jamon, uh, another, oh, right here. Uh, another uh, person that Coach talked about yesterday was Jalen Walker. He worked a lot with the outside linebackers last year as well as you guys, but he talked a lot more that Jalen spent a lot more time with you guys in, this, uh, in the inside room. What have you seen from him, and, and what do you think his flexibility being at play, playing both inside and outside? Um, just a versatile player at the end of the day. Um, person that can play both. A person that we could depend on playing both. Um, whether we can um, adjust at halftime to take him to the outside linebacker room or to take him at halftime and put him back in the inside linebacker room. Um, he's that type of player and type of that, and that type of person that uh, we can depend on doing multiple things at once. Um, very flexible player, very trustful player, very hard worker. And, um, you know, just like I said, just a very flexible player, dependable. Javon, I apologize. I'll ask a follow-up on the speeding thing. 
obviously it was a few days before the crash and uh, there was also racing involved and that, that led to this idea that there's this kind of culture around the team of that. Can you speak to that? Is there that or is it, what, what is it? Um, not no culture about no speed. Um, mine was, uh, you know, before everything hit the, hit the uh, internet and stuff like that. But I definitely don't think it's a, a culture that we're creating. Um, just some bad choices that we're making right now. And um, hopefully the team um, get it together. Yeah, right here. Uh, one thing on that, has that been to, to deal with some of the off-the-season distractions? How, how tough has that been as a, as a team to kind of put that behind you and, and focus on? And also, coming into this season, you know, you got a chance to do something that hadn't been done, to win three national championships in a row. Uh, what's your thoughts on that at, at history, you know, to be in this position? Um, about the incident, you know, we're not going to pick it. We're not going to um, stay looking behind us. We're going to keep moving forward. And, um, about the, uh, the what you say? The, the three, to win three straight national champions, to have that chance to do something that hadn't been done in the pole era. Really, that, um, that really haven't, um, you know, that surface around the media, but that haven't really been on our mind. Um, really got to take it game by game right now um, until we get to that that far in the season to uh, worry about the, the three-peat um, accolade. Jamon, is there anybody in particular that you look at that you think is gives you fits in practice. That you give me fits like, like problems? Yeah, that y'all have constant battles. <laughs> Nobody. Fair or not. The, the whole old line, you know. Uh, Jamon, you talked a little bit about playing linebacker at Georgia. And this program in particular is known for always having elite talent at that position. And you played behind a lot of guys that have gone to the NFL and really created this university. Uh, what are some of the things you've been able to learn from those guys earlier in your career? Um, um, one person I was close to uh, here as a freshman was N'Kobe. Um, and really, his work ethic, how he approached everything, basically says how work works. So that's what I took from him. Um, you work hard, it's eventually going to show off. <coughs> Yeah, Jamon, you, you stood up here and answered some tough questions and taking a lot of accountability today. Um, can you talk about the, that growth in you? I mean, getting used to being in this fishbowl, being the face of the defense, the voice of the team. Is it something you're comfortable with now? Is it something that you have grown into? Do you feel like you're still growing into that? Um, I said being the face of the defense and um, I kind of, well, I'm talking about the, uh, the face of the defense first. Um, I feel like, you know, that's just a, my personality, who I am. Um, I'm loud, energetic, so that's like fit. It fits the linebacker qualities and the characteristics to, to be a linebacker, especially here at the University of Georgia. And um, accountability is just really just growing as a person, knowing what you were wrong at. Um, you can't move past something unless you admit, you know, take credit, credit, uh, credit for it. You know, that's what I try to do. And, um, you can't, you know, you can't dwell on the past. If I dwell on the past, what do you think the defense going to do? I'm the leader of the defense, one of them. So you got to keep moving forward, you know. That's pretty much it. Yeah, you touched on being disciplined because of that reckless driving arrest. What did that, what did that discipline look like? And this offseason, obviously, going through that, seeing your name in headlines, seeing the team culture, you know, somewhat being attacked. How, what have you learned about yourself through going through this process and going through this offseason as difficult as it has been? Sit in. Can you do that? Yeah. Uh, just what did the discipline process look like for you after your arrest, and then what have you learned about yourself this offseason going through uh, that process? The discipline. I, I, I want to never do it again. Um, <laughs> it was pretty hard. Um, throughout that process, I was hard on myself. Uh, I didn't believe uh, I, did, I made the right decision. Um, just being hard on myself and um, yeah. that's really just it. That's it. Good. You made a couple of All American teams last year, like first team. What, what kind of goals do you have this year for your, you know, your game personally? Um, my goal is for the team to um, to do what we came to do and um, set out to be who we set out to be. And um, 
I ain't even really worried about my um, you know, my uh, goals anymore. Um, team me and my my coach showed us some um, a lot of players that uh that they had on the third team um, coming into the season that went first round. So I swiped that off my mind. That's really irrelevant right now to me. The first team, third team, that don't that don't matter. Show me some third team people that went first round. So that doesn't mean nothing. Um, really working about the team. Um, team success brings individual success, so that's what I'm worried about. Got time for two more questions. Javon, when you look at this defense, people you have to replace some guys from last year, what do you guys need to do over these next few weeks in camp to, when you get in the season, be successful? Um, this this is University of Georgia, so we have talent everywhere. We have the size, we have the mindset. I just feel like as a part that been here, a heart, a piece of the, the defense that I've been here the last two years, I just think we had got to have connection. At the end of the day, the connection brings a team together, and um, that's something we're building right now. Jamon, what's going to make this inside linebacker group particularly dangerous this year? Coach you. Um, <laughs> let him be who we are. Um, let him keep you know, being hard on us, let him keep coaching every little thing that he can, and um, let the linebackers just listen to him, because he's one of the best in the business. All right, Jamal, thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much. Much.